Hello, Jacqueline Gergay here. For this class, the individual book I chose is called Competing on the Edge by Shona L. Brown and Kathleen M. Eisenhart. Change and managing change in the business world is the main theme of this book. Anyone who has any interest in business or works in an industry that is forever changing would benefit from reading it. Competing on the Edge is not just the title, but is also a very important strategy. Brown and Eisenhart developed this book and strategy through an in-depth research of the computer industry in Asia, North America, and Europe. Now what made them decide to research the computer industry, you might ask? As we have all seen over this past decade or more, the computer technology industry has blown itself out of the water. There is always something be new being introduced, and so the computer industry is an excellent example of how research and development is constantly changing the world around us. Change is always happening, and in many industries can be seen as never ending. This competing on the edge strategy is a way to manage the change. Excuse me. And use it to your advantage. The three main ways to manage change through this strategy are reacting to change, leading change, and anticipating change. Now, reacting to change seems to be the most common way that businesses deal with change, but by sticking to this path, one may miss out on some first mover advantages. In anticipating change, you may or may not get those first mover advantages. It's kind of a iffy. But in leading change, you have a, almost a guarantee you're going to get those first mover advantages, but you don't know what's going to follow you. You don't know for sure how things are going to turn out and everything, so there's a degree of uncertainty even with leading change. Now this constant change and the competing on the edge strategy reminds me of anxiety and stress, which in small amounts is necessary for our bodies to live. Some key characteristics of this strategy, which remind me very much of stress or anxiety, are unpredictableness, uncontrolled, inefficient, proactive, diverse, and continuous. These are present due to the fact that in an ever-changing world, <gasps> excuse me, in an ever-changing world, we are standing on, say, an imaginary edge of a cliff, gazing across the ravine to the other cliff where we would like to be, but can't quite figure out how to get there. Some structure is needed to figure out how it might be possible to get over to that next cliff, but too much structure in a business and its innovating, por innovating portion suffers greatly. It is a balancing act which survives thanks to improvisation, but can also fail if this improvisation leans one way or another too much. This is one of the building blocks that supports the competing on the edge strategy. Other building blocks besides improvisation include co-adaptation, regeneration, experimentation, which we have talked a lot about in class and have even set goals on, and also time pacing. Reading this book has made me realize more profoundly that change is inescapable which to myself is quite a scary thought. Competing on the edge may not be the safest way to grow your business, but you will never know if you missed a great opportunity unless you are willing to be a bit risky in your business endeavors.